and welcome to Nature with Alec. We're so happy to see you and share our life with beautiful nature. Either it's gardening, with dragon fruit, beautiful hummingbirds or monarch butterflies. And today I'd like to give up nine months update on our dragon fruit garden. If you haven't seen our five months update, please check the link as well and you can see the progress. Okay, at this point, I'd like to share the trellis that we built together with uh, my kids and uh, I'd like to share you how progressive it's going. So basically dragon fruit never stops, never sleeps. It's growing so fast, it's growing almost like an inch uh, a day. And as you can see, the new branches already progressing, going forward. Some of them going longer at this point. And what's interesting that uh, at the trails that I designed, it's going uh, um, north to south. And of course, the, the branches, majority of the branches pointing to the sun, where they from west to east, I have at least 10, 12 hours of sun. And those branches you can see pointing this way. So maybe in the future, if somebody's building the trellis, it's a good idea to figure out, you know, how to set up your trellis and see which way the plant, which way uh, branches will guide. And of course, I have to train this one to give it more on the left side as well. So I have a balance with the uh, my Laverne Red Dragon Fruit. Okay, and now we're going to continue to go with the next, uh, like I have a nursery and I have more options to show you in one moment. Okay, here's the area where I do grow uh, multiple varieties of dragon fruit and I plant them in containers. Uh, some of them got mixed uh, uh, dragon fruits in one container, some of them has a unique uh, uh, salt container, for example, this Laverne Red Dragon Fruit. So uh, I took this one uh, with the air roots from my uh, mother plant and I planted it here uh, probably like five months ago. But you see how fast it starts growing it's already taken over the fence and I have to stretch it. So it's probably would be really dangerous for me to transfer this one to another location and then. So I decide I'm gonna keep this location with the fence and let the branches grow sideways. Okay, uh, another um, issue that I'm facing right now, I do have a fungus on my dragon fruit. So some of the dragon fruits actually got sick and I start to uh, isolate them on the side. So. This is, as you can see, the fungus is growing on the new branches and it's hard to know is it that's due to the moisture overnight and cold weather. Of course, it could be uh, an issue with freezing. So I'm gonna have to chop it off those uh, branches or I'm gonna try to treat them with uh, uh, copper fungicide. So I purchased the uh, uh, concentrated containers and I'm gonna show you what um, happened after the treatment. So um, I purchased neem oil as well, the, copper fungicide this is concentrated uh, container which uh, cost probably around twenty dollar and uh, you need just one tablespoon for this bottle okay one tablespoon for this bottle and it's good enough uh, to mix the copper fungicide and I spray it so this one physical graffiti had an issue before with the fungus and I sprayed before as you can see it healed it become really strong the skin is good and it's very well protected but the problem is the new branches as you can see over here they do start having issues so I have constantly keep monitoring and constantly spray with a uh, copper fungicide and hopefully it will heal and uh, I don't have to to trim my um, plant at this point so uh, but uh, of course you can see see how many new branches coming in so coming out so it's already um, probably this one is uh, like eight months plant but it's growing very very fast so I need to protect I want to make sure the the bottom of this one is good and this is very fine you see this is probably supposed to be like a flower but become a branch you see it's like a six-sided uh, uh, section over here so I'm gonna continue to spray this one later so but just to let you know that in case you see a fungus on your dragon fruit uh, definitely use a copper fungicide or we'll check other videos with the neem oil or, or the rest. And I'll show you right now more varieties that are really growing. Um, I do have lots of cuttings uh, for sale as well to share. We have American Beauty, Physical Graffiti, Hell is Coming, Delight, and Laverne. So those cuttings available to purchase. 
and uh, as you can see how fast it's growing so I had to extend uh, the those sticks and this is probably going already seven seven feet high at least and uh, constantly branches are moving forward and does really take maintenance and time to to take care of those plants so if you do have uh, enough space and you can expand your garden as much as you can that's a great way to to to, to go but if you're looking for like multiple varieties definitely look for the uh, big production flavor and the space that you need to because each plant for example like this plant within one year is gonna give you at least four feet of the space area that needed to expand the branches but uh, I'll show you just in a couple seconds I'll show you how laverne red can grow over like 12 years and as soon as you give enough space to go higher and wider it will go fast and this is nice to see like those little branches they're moving really fast everything just happened within probably months uh, or two as you can see those sticks already like need more and more but the question is has to be relocated and I have to take care of this one as well in order to have multiple varieties in my garden so let's go check the tomato cages okay and here we are by Laverne Red a mother plant that has been growing for more than 12 years and we are so happy to have this uh, dragon fruit which gives like more than a hundred fruit last year and we did break a record so it was like 2.14 and a half ounces of the beautiful Laverne dragon fruit we even like put the mark down over here so I had this record it was on August 15 uh, 2020 and we do have a video about this one the biggest fruit in our garden so here's the branches continuously going as you can see this is young um, and not mature branches for sharing but definitely those with the heavy strong skin and those uh, available to be shared with other people as you can see we built already extension to our um, tomato cages and that will be introduced in next lesson so garden is growing we're getting bigger we're getting higher and getting wider so and let's next video we would like to introduce you more to uh, extension to our garden which we're trying to do in our hillside with more commercial way so please subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss any future videos with the garden and nature with Alec. Thank you.